Hello, people. Welcome back. Uh, this is JRO here. Uh, sorry, I'm a little later on this video than I wanted to be, but I'll be honest with you, I've basically been rewriting the script multiple times, trying to trying to figure out things as I go along. So I just want to get that out of the way first. Uh, this is by no means a completely 100% guide as this is still early on in World 5. Um, this is going to be on gaming and the be basically the earlier portions of uh, gaming and into what I think is mid-game of gaming. Um, basically just ways that I've found that you can optimize it, little tricks here and there, and just going over what I think is pretty strong. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, and uh, here's my impressions. All right, so gaming can be found out here. This is the interface. As you'll see, there's a lot of stuff on screen right now. Those are from imports. You will unlock them later. When you first start off, you're going to have the um, basically the value that each plant gives, how long it takes to for them to grow back, and uh, the capacity that you have. Uh, I basically think capacity is by far the most important thing. It's basically just a multiplier on how much you can get per AFK session, and you'll see what I mean by that in a bit. Um, basically, slots, most important thing. Always upgrade it when you can, and even consider saving up a bit for it. You see now I'm at like 1Q, then my next one costs 200x, what I can currently get fairly easily. So this is a little bit pricey for me. Uh, when I'm a little bit closer, I want to save up for this upgrade. But you, you're basically going to have to judge it yourself. But the slot upgrade is very strong. Um, next up, we have the growth. Uh, I think the growth, it's not indicative here, but I think growth is slightly less important than the base value. So you're going to want to keep the base value, uh, in, co in terms of cost, you want to keep the base value slightly higher. Uh, I'm working in like fives just because OCD, but the basically I think the base value is a bit more important than the um, grow back rate. You'll want to keep them somewhat even though. So there's not too much going on in this for the fertilizer screen. Uh, then we have the mutation screen. So as you unlock... The, when you unlock the mutation, basically, the uh, sprouts that you pick will sometimes drop DNA or sometimes drop multiple DNA. As you pick those, I believe it drops one per evolution. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. I have to, I'd have to go check it. Um, maybe it's just a multiplier. Uh, anyway, the as you get these mutations, you can unlock them via the research. Um, the earlier mutations, you can go for a fairly high chance. As you get to the later mutations, uh, like this 1.1 chance, I think it's great. I'm going to take that right now. Um, basically, for the second to last one, I'm, I'm shooting around 1.1 to 1.5% chance. Uh, and then for the last one, I'll just spam it as basically every harvest. Um, you just want to unlock these as you go. Don't worry about them too much. Uh, and I'll go through them quickly. Uh, fungi. Not too much going on here, just good multiplier. Uh, it gives no gaming XP, but don't worry too hard about gaming XP. There's not a lot that really cares about it. Uh, second up, Cactus is very strong. You'll want to save these um, for last, and I'll show you what I mean when we actually start picking. Um, bonsai Plant, and don't worry too much about these mutations. You can optimize them, but don't... Don't waste the brain power over it too much. Um, you're you're going to be doing a lot of picking, basically. So don't don't worry about squeezing every last bit that you can out of every plant. Not not worth the headache. Um, bonsai is a good evolution, though. You just you're better off um, letting it grow fully, but it's sometimes inefficient to waste a slot that long. I usually see it if it's like three or three or two or three. I'll sometimes pick it. It depends if there's a cactus nearby. Uh, Verace, Veraci, whatever. Instantly grows plants. Um, pretty good. Just a nice thing to have. Sometimes grows cactuses, or cacti, excuse me. Um, uh, so basically what I'll do is I'll clear out the basic plants or maybe some fungi, and then I'll 
pick the Ferasi so I can get a chance at Sprouting Cactus to then upgrade my more important blo uh, evolutions. Blossom, just a good multiplier. 5x at gaming XP, cool. Uh, and then Berry Bush is the best one I have unlocked so far. So, uh, just a very strong one. You want to get this um, fully uh, grown because each evolution gives 7x more. So, 7, 49, so on and so forth. Um, yeah, I did that right in my head, I don't think. Uh, anyway. Uh, so, that's pretty much all there is in here. Uh, as far as the um, chance mutation, or mutation chance, uh, basically just level it when you can. Again, don't fret too much about it. A lot about gaming is basically just looking at upgrades and be like, oh, that's really cheap. I mean, you just level them then. So, as far as I sound. Here, we'll get to the interesting part. Um, of gaming now. Uh, Sprinkler, very strong. You'll unlock it, I believe, at 20, level 20, when you first unlock imports. This is like the cheapest to buy, um, and you can upgrade it via the gem shop. The uh, Sprinkler's great. Uh, again, for the cost, just level it when it doesn't seem too expensive. Um, as far as usage, you'll want to save it. You'll basically want to clear out all the low value plants. Um, and leave a bunch of cactus and then when you've cleared out enough you use the sprinkler and you repeat that process to get the most lucrative harvest uh, next up you have the gold shovel or the the shovel dirty shovel uh, and it digs up gold bars or gold nuggets uh, the gold nugget chance is like 1 to 1585 and then it's multiplied by whatever this number is so you can get anywhere between like 65.6 right now to i don't know 1585 times that um but then it's not linear so you're way more likely to still hit within like the one to two thousand range at where i'm at um so again it's just a bunch of rng there just don't worry about it uh, it's just a good multiplier to have uh next up you get the squirrel the squirrel basically gives you acorns that it gathers You'll spit them out as you click them, and then you'll be able to upgrade um, multiplier and plants growing. So it basically just gives you a pseudo fertilizer, but another separate multiplier. Great thing. Uh, then you get the shell. Uh, it evolves based on how many evolutions it has seen, and then you can upgrade it and get it more per rank. So basically, after I evolve 593 more evolutions, it'll rank up. And it's I'm getting 200 or 25% per rank. So again, just another multiplier, pretty good. Last but not least, this one that I have unlocked so far is the um, the rock. It's interesting in that you'll want it active if you're playing the game actively. Like I could turn it on. And, oh, I can't turn it on yet. Um, turning it on gives you a drastically faster growth average. So You'll see I go from 1.6 hours to 23 minutes. So you could go AFK for like five minutes and get your whole um, garden grown up. And I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, if you're going AFK for the night, though, you see right there. Um, if you're going AFK for the night, though, you'll want to turn that off just to get better um, growth from or a better uh, harvest from your plants because it gives you 3x less. So. Anywho, um, so here we have the uh, logbook. This shows you all the evolutions you've seen, unless you keep track of them. Uh, you'll want to let, like when you first unlock a new evolution, you'll want to let the evolution go all the way through because you get a multiplier based on that. So just a nice thing to show and um, reminder to let to get that multiplier because it's a strong multiplier okay so there's gaming uh now then we need to look at things that increase gaming or fairly important upgrades uh so first off we get the alchemy bubble the alchemy bubble uh the big bubble that is uh it's a pretty decent bubble you put it on your characters and when you claim afk on them uh, you'll get progress towards gaming. And a lot of the World 5 skills have this theme of basically 
getting a huge dopamine rush when you claim AFK gains because you're constantly rolling for more gaming progress or sailing progress. It's very awesome. I actually really enjoy this mechanic. It makes claiming AFK gains exciting. Um, next up, you have the bit by bit, just a multiplier. Decent bubble, but, you know, I don't have a very good... Uh, log sample right now so you know I, it's not very high but also the bubbles downscales pretty fast so don't i wouldn't even like worry too hard about it uh the, as far as alchemy goes those are the main ones i think there is like uh where is it gaming xp on this vial i think there's maybe one more vial that gives a bonus i don't have all the vials yet so and I don't remember all their bonuses off the top of my head. Again, this is a rough guide to gaming uh, at the moment. I will make a more proper one later on, most likely. Um, but again, don't worry too much about it. That's about that's all you can get really from alchemy. Um, the big bonuses to gaming come via the form of artifacts. So as you're going along, you'll get uh, a couple key artifacts. Um, so this one gives you the uh, post office crate for gaming. Very strong. I'll show it in a second. Uh, you're also going to want to go for... There's a couple artifacts that specifically give gaming multiplier. I'm currently looking for them. Uh, gummy orb, uh, weather book, and I believe that is it as far as I've found. Yes. Yeah. Um, so as far as gaming goes from sailing, you'll want to get those multiplier ones, but they're fairly later on into sailing, so don't worry about them too much. They just help boost your sailing, or your gaming, uh, pretty high later on. Uh, however, there is a World 4 bonus towards gaming that we should talk about. Actually, there's a couple. Uh, and that is in the form of meals. There are new meals to be gained. And you get a pretty good multiplier from, uh, the meals so the head chef bread gives you a gaming multiplier and i think you get a gaming xp one yep gaming xp here and then the celsius sausage is another multiplier so don't want to skip out on those It'll unlock them as you are able it will take killing the new spice battles for them and collecting those spices uh highly recommended okay so uh before we go into actually taking about harvest let's talk about the gem shop uh, there are two upgrades here that basically permanently help gaming, and then the fertilizers. Fertilizers are good. You'll, they're good early on. Later on, I've found that I'm not using them all that much. Or, like, I'm not really gaining too much from using them anymore. Uh, so they, they're they very strong early, and they kind of peter off. So uh, Golden Sprinkler is basically just a 30% chance you don't use up water uh, from your sprinkler. So... Uh, it's just a, a good upgrade, kind of gives you a little bit of RNG on it. If you keep keep uh, getting additional harvests from the water, it also kind of incentivizes letting the water stack up, sort of. It's not really how statistics work, but it feels really good when you get a lot of, uh, like, eight or nine water resets. So, uh, so Golden Springer, uh, strong upgrade, what can I say? It gives you a lot of power early on. Again, later on, kind of whatever you're mostly caring about bit multipliers rather than um getting base level plants because usually this will just give you base level plants and maybe some cacti uh, lava sprouts very good uh, like i said the the maximum number of sprouts your garden can hold is just a multiplier towards all your subsequent harvests in my opinion and because of that i actually value the lava sprouts way higher than golden sprinkler uh, so if you had gems to spend and you wanted to spend them on gaming, I would go Lava Sprouts, then Sprinkler, then Fertilizers. Alright, so that's a whole lot of talking. Let's actually show what gaming does. Oh, well, I guess to, to explain how I'm going to do that, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and look at the AFK crate, the, uh, the crate for this. So this is 9.33% chance, or the percent AFK counts for gaming. This isn't the, one of the ones that gives... The chance, though, this just means that all your AFK gains that you gain, 9% of it goes towards gaming. So to demonstrate that, we have a completely empty um, uh, garden. 
So let's go ahead and claim AFK gains here. And hopefully this works, but it's not exactly. Oh, see, nice two hour proc on scaling. Sailing. Okay, we got only eight minutes of progress. Um, so let's go ahead and collect another one. There we go. We got another eight minutes of progress, and boom, we, we grew something. However, this rock really helps in tandem with the gaming crate that you'll get later on, because you could turn the rock on. You can turn the rock on. Oh, wait. You can turn the rock on. I forgot you can't turn the rock on if there's any plants in the, the thing. That's a failsafe. All right, so rock is on now. Let's go collect one hour and 35 minutes. So that's about another eight minutes of progress, and boom. So with the gaming crate, the rock becomes super powerful. However, all of these plants are worth a little bit less. So it's not as busted as it seems, but it's a nice little bonus. And it lets you claim a lot more than you think. All right. So that was pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do it again. And we'll go through my order of harvesting. Okay. So first off. These are the base level plants. They have a couple evolutions per leaf, basically, as you can see via the logbook. Um, they're not very worth very much, and therefore I don't want them soaking up the gains. So let's say I had more water, basically. So here, I don't want them taking up a slot, whereas I could get a better evolution. So here, I'm going to clear off three of them and four of them. Now, if I click the sprinkler, I will grow back three. So therefore, I got two other evolutions instead of having them be a sprouts, which I can then use in tandem with the cacti. Um, and technically, I was supposed to do Veraci first to try to see if I get another cactus, but that's what I said. Don't go too crazy over it, but that's the way I usually go about my harvests to optimize how much I'm getting via the whole harvest. As far as the shovel is concerned, you get one per hour, and then after the first charge of the shovel, I think it's four hours for the second, um, and then like eight hours for the third, or 12 hours or something like that. So basically, if you're clicking this every hour, cool. If not, just you know click it whenever you can. Again, don't worry too much about it. It's a bunch of RNG, so don't go killing yourself over something that isn't guaranteed. Uh, but here, we can go ahead and claim 24 minutes here, and you'll see that the rock... Oh my god, I'm getting a lot of sailing time too. That's awesome. Um, you'll see that the rock still... Well, that was only two minutes. Uh, you'll have to forgive me that it didn't grow as much as I planned. Uh, let's go 20 minutes here. One minute of progress. Still got a whole plant. Um, I think I have an hour over here. Okay, so, yeah, you see how quickly the rock allows you to regrow your um, your full uh, garden. So getting the rock later on, if you're active, is pretty good. Uh, I know for some AFK players, it's not going to be as exciting, but, you know, each upgrade has its own little way to optimize it. And the rock is still good if you're just playing, because you're going to get a lot of evolutions. Like, if you're missing any um, evolutions from this, the rock really helps you hit them, uh, due to them cycling up faster, basically. So, anywho, that is basically my uh, spiel on gaming. Uh, the You might be asking why you want to do like what what is gaming used for and basically it's like a current you get the, the bits currency you can use for a ton of different things um, a couple bubbles uh the sailing speed is actually pretty strong early on uh it's additive i think to a couple other things so it's not as impressive later but early on it's fairly cheap and a good boost to your sailing speeds um you're also going to be spending a lot of the bits early for divinities um i think it's this one this one and this one. Uh, so there's basically a good amount of ways to spend the gaming bits for other upgrades in game. Uh, I'm probably forgetting a good amount of them at the moment, but they they are useful. Uh, and I assume that more sources to spend the bits 
in the rest of Eidolon will be forthcoming. So that's the gaming. It's a little bit less important in my opinion than sailing or divinity. It's just fun. I, it's something about growing your garden and seeing the numbers go really, really high is just hilarious. Like, I don't know. I love it. Uh, but don't, don't worry about it too much. You're going to get better gains for the rest of your account by optimizing sailing and divinities. Uh, and a little bit of cop out because I'll be talking about those in the next two videos to come. Uh, like I said, I've just been, I'm going through world five, like the rest of us. So I, I've been changing my mind on what is and isn't good. You know, how you should go about things, what I would do differently, all sorts of things. So, I just want to make sure I'm putting out a good video. I don't want to be misinforming. Uh, so, excuses aside, hopefully this helped with gaming for some people. And I will be releasing the sailing one this weekend. It'll be sailing or divinity next. Well, obviously. Um, I don't have all the gods unlocked and I don't have all the islands unlocked. I was kind of hoping to get a little bit further, but honestly, I made way more progress than I thought I was going to. Sailing was far faster once you get more of the boats than I thought. So I'll probably do sailing next because I think Divinity is going to be the longest video because of how much depth there is towards the skill. Whereas sailing is fairly straightforward, just very powerful. So yeah, most likely sailing video next. Uh, this weekend sometime, probably Saturday night or Sunday night, excuse me. Uh, so look forward to that, and let me know if this helped y'all. So, uh, yeah, have a good one.